everyone in this video we are going to learn about assessment in case of customs see when we talk about assessment in case of customs the term assessment means to determine now this term assessment has been widened it includes determination of value determination of any classification determination of origin determination of any other factor which affects the custom duty payable they have widened the scope so that assessment has much much wider scope when the proper office is assessing the duty or you self assess the duty now section 17 of customs act 1962 deals with self assessment self assessment i as an importer file a bill of entry for home consumption it is assessed at present government is also moving towards faceless assessment where the assessment of that particular bill of entry can be done by any officer who is in any other place not just at that particular custom port or airport now it would all be done online he would send you a query online you would reply to it online and he would pass a order online which is order for clearance for home consumption Say suppose he finds there is a short payment. If there is a short payment, in case he will intimate that short payment. If you agree, then you will pay that short payment amount and close the matter. If you don't agree, he will pass a seeking order. Plus, a new section has been introduced where custom officers also have the power to carry out any audit. That's a particular provision which can be exercised in any case. So the powers of audit are much wider at present. Thereafter, you have a very important discussion of Section 18 that deals with provisional assessment. Now, when we talk about provisional assessment, see what is the basic purpose of provisional assessment? When I am unable to determine the custom duty payable, I will go for provisional assessment. This is the normal rule. So under GST, when I am unable to determine my GST payable, I go for provisional assessment. but under customs i as an importer can go for provisional assessment or officer can also provisionally assess the custom duty payable there are four cases where officer can provisionally assess custom duty and say suppose i want to clear for home consumption then i will clear the goods for home consumption after pre paying that provisional assessment duty and if a bond is required then that bond will also be given Say suppose I want to store the goods in the warehouse, then I have to file into bond bill of entry based on the provisionally assessed duty, along with twice the duty amount as bond. Here the provision still deals with twice the duty amount under section 18. Then what would happen? Then I would submit all the documents to the proper officer. There is a time limit for that, and proper officer has to pass an order. There is a time limit for that as well. now once final assessment happens see there can be two cases one i have short paid duty second i have excess paid duty if i have short paid duty such cases i will have to pay the duty along with 15% per annum interest from the first day of the month in which provisional assessment was done be very careful in this lot of times it's asked in the exam first day of the month in which the provisional assessment was done but when it comes to refund i will get 6% per annum after the expiry of 3 months from the date of final assessment after that if there is still delay then i will get interest at 6% per annum if the goods are still in the warehouse then what would happen if the goods are still in the warehouse then say suppose i have short assessed in that case i will have to give more bond if there was a excess bond already given then nothing is mentioned in the provision then that bond will continue as it is now let's see the timelines and let's see the cases where officer can go for provisional assessment see this very carefully now firstly we will see the cases where provisional assessment can be done the first case when you see gst for gst it's only one case whenever i am unable to determine my gst payable but in case of customs first case is where importer is unable to determine custom duty payable 
and then you have proper officer proper officer can also go for provisional assessment first when he thinks a chemical or other test is necessary or he thinks a further enquiry is to be made even when i have produced the documents or a case where i have not produced the documents and he feels a further enquiry has to be carried out so these are the cases where provisional assessment can be done four i myself go for provisional assessment second proper officer can go in case he thinks a chemical or other test is required third further enquiry where documents are produced further enquiry where documents are not produced by me and if i were to clear the goods for home consumption in that case i will pay the custom duty and give a bond as required by proper officer if i were to store the goods in the warehouse then bond twice the duty amount and how does the process look be very careful about the process this is new process custom rules have been notified for this finalization of provisional assessment rules what is the process proper officer will intimate me within 15 days saying that these are the documents which he requires this is step 1 second importer has to submit all the documents within one month plus one extension of 3 months plus one more extension of 3 months and what is the time limit for proper officer to pass the order the time limit for proper officer to pass the order is 2 months plus one extension of 3 months so from the day the time limit for submitting the documents expires or i have submitted all the documents from that time the time for proper officer starts and for the proper officer the time limit is 2 months plus an extension of 3 months is also permitted clear this will quicken the process in gst what is the time limit in gst the time limit is 6 months plus 6 months plus another extension of 4 years total comes to 5 years clear with this process okay going to the last segment final assessment order see if i have already cleared the goods for home consumption and i have made a excess payment in such cases i am eligible for refund at interest 6% per annum after 3 months from the date of final assessment be very careful everywhere the law uses 3 months from the date of receipt of refund application but here 3 months is from the date of final assessment okay if there is a short payment made by me in such cases i have to pay the difference amount along with interest at 15% per annum from the first day of the month in which provisional assessment was made if the goods are still in warehouse if i have given a excess bond nothing is mentioned if bond amount falls short then i have to give bond twice the duty amount are you clear with this yes so these were the cases then we moved on to what happens in such cases thereafter a process and finally what happens once final assessment order is given yes clear with this a very important discussion see this entire chart once before your examination see you in the next video